Welcome to the Games Freezer. This is Richard from Games Freezer, and this is our review of the Venom Marauder Universal 7.1 Virtual Surround Gaming Headset. It's coming in at $49.99, so a very competitive price point um, for a lot of gaming headsets out there at the minute. So let's see how it fares. Um, it's compatible for Xbox One. Um, PS4, Xbox 360, PS3 and PC, so covering all bases there. Um, just a pointer to remind you that for the Xbox One, the stereo adapter is going to be required for the older Xbox One controller. And then on the PS4, if you've got a slim, you must play your optical cable through the TV rather than directly through the PS4. As on the older PS4s, you've got the opportunity to do that as you've still got the optical port built into the back. Okay, so let's get on to the key features. Um, we've got virtual 7.1 surround technology. Um, the software that's built into the uh, headphones looks to dynamically position sounds around the game environment. So you should be able to basically locate where enemies are approaching from, uh, what direction and pinpoint their whereabouts. Um, they're aiming to basically replicate the experience of high-end 7.1 home cinema environment. So Venom have incorporated some vibration technology into these ones as well. It's a second 30mm driver that's built into the headphones. Um, it basically reacts to gameplay cues so it adds in a vibration sensation whenever there's kind of like explosions or loud effects that come into play so think of your first person shooters there um, using the inline remote system uh, you can alter the vibration feedback so that means you can have that um, feature on or completely off and somewhere in between so the build, let's get onto the build. Um, this is a wired headset, you connect via USB and a selection of cables are included for all the different systems that we listed out earlier. Um, we've got a plug and play um, scenario here which basically allows the Marauder to be used across all those systems uh, from consoles to PCs. You've got 40mm drivers built into the um, headsets to deliver that powerful base that they're aiming for. Um, you've got your cushion fake leather headband and ear cups. Uh, you've got a plastic headband with like an inner metal reinforcement. Uh, you've got a fold away noise cancelling microphone, so that's hidden when it's not in use. Uh, you've got rotating ear cups, they go 90 degrees rotation, allowing you to slip them into a bag if you need to, or just place them on the side if you haven't got a headset stand. Um, so let's have a look at the comfort. From my experience so two hours of gaming uh, and listening to music and I've got to admit I forgot I was wearing the headset so that was a positive uh, it seemed to be more comfortable than most fake leather headsets I've worn um, sometimes you get the sensation of heat um, going through your ears or pain in your head or your ears but I didn't experience either of those to the extent where that made me uncomfortable the only slight annoyance I had was uh, initially positioning the headband in the correct position when I first put them on. Um, and I think that's because maybe there could be a bit more padding on the headband width wise allowing you to uh, put it into a more comfortable position uh, quicker. So the earphone cable um, is also a little on the short side so for those who like to lounge on the sofa and play their games from afar um, this might be something to consider because it's on the short side you might not be able to do that didn't impact me however because I play from the comfort of my desk in my chair and my PS4 uh, and PC are located on that desk so not a problem for me um, gaming audio quality nice and bassy when I was playing Doom and that was my test game on the PS4 I could uh, really feel those demons they pelted fireballs at me head and ripped me arms off so that was good um, there's a 3D button on the control hub that really ramps things up nicely and adds an extra punch to the bass. So overall, uh, a decent sound there. One other thing to mention is the vibration technology. It's a nice addition to the uh, the headset. 
uh, something new for me that I haven't experienced before but I need to uh, experience it a bit more uh, on a few more games in order to fully appreciate the effect I think music audio quality well I was using Spotify on PS4 and I was able to sample some tunes for an hour or so and the music audio quality was solid not remarkable just solid um, I'd say like these were built for gaming specifically rather than music so the limitations are understandable but again the bass was pretty good um, I also used it on my iPhone plugging the jack straight into the phone and again it produced some solid sounds on, on my favourite tunes uh, nothing to write home about but decent uh, microphone quality so the microphone headphone is built in it's nice and hidden away but it's not great for streaming um, it's adequate for voice chat but for streaming it doesn't really pick your voice up enough in order to project it across your stream so my verdict then um, I'd say these are really solid set of earphones for gaming gaming specifically delivers great sound for that single player gaming experience um, and at a £50 price point it's a great price for such a good sounding headset the headset feels sturdy has good comfort levels pro for prolonged use so what more can you say for that, that amount of money it's a shame the microphone just falls short of the acceptable levels for streaming to YouTube etc um, otherwise it would have been even more of a great uh, find at that price point but that's probably where the um, the, the price comes in at 50 rather than a higher end um, I'd say these are highly recommended uh, they get an ice cool rating from the games freezer um, and I'll be using them uh, more over the next few months so I'd like to thank Venom for the review sample and if you want to find out more about these cool headphones then head over to venomuk.com and you can follow Venom on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube this has been Richard from the Games Freezer. I'll speak to you all soon. Stay frosty. www.gamesfreezer.eu